It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it One man, one show One you army, really nigga <laughs> I'm a go, God, nigga What? Really, nigga? What's good, cousins? It's that young nigga Swan. <laughs> you know, young nigga out here making videos about archetypes in 2K19. You feel me? You know, even though even though archetypes ain't been released, how do I know the future? It's it, it, it's crazy. <laughs> Next vid I'ma make, it, it's gonna be the best prelude jump shot, and the prelude not out for like. 20 days or some shit. I, I, I don't fucking know. But look, man, hear me out, my nigga. <laughs> Before, I, 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 know, I know a lot of you niggas, man. Like, your pussy's like, it's starting to twitch and shit, and it's starting to hurt. So you're like, you're starting to rage. Your fucking hormones, you're, get, you're on your keyboard. You're trying to type. Oh, shit, I think I just fucked up my audio. Hold up. I shouldn't have did that. You, you on your keyboard written getting ready to type a paragraph and shit cuz you just a, a lame ass pussy bitch Hey, look nigga I let my nuts hang in my videos nigga okay get off my fucking dick you lame ass dweeb miserable fuck I want to let you know something nigga I don't make videos about fucking the political system no 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 crazy it's a fucking video game it's a video game, bitch! It's a video game, my nigga. Why are you niggas filled with such hate? I, I see so much crazy shit. What is good with you niggas, bro? There's something wrong with you, man. I'm telling you. Every single one of you niggas who just write these paragraphs. And you keep coming back. What is good? Are, are you hurt? Do you need a hug, pussy boy? Now, let, let's get to these, this video, my nigga. Um, I'm sorry for all that. Y'all be sure to like and subscribe or dislike. I don't, I don't fucking care. Do what the fuck you want. Leave a comment. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Now, look. History repeats itself, and that's just how it goes. As my young nigga Cole says, my nigga. So, I'm going to give y'all some key tips that have been in every 2K since this whole My Player Park shit and Pro-Am shit came around. Listen very closely. Um, this is going to be amazing. You know, I'm going to make videos on this shit in the future. Now, look. Ball handling builds. Okay? You always want to max your wingspan with every build. Every build. Every build, every build, do not, I don't care if you get a plus three, plus three, it, it's not worth it, okay? I'm going to explain to you why, my nigga. That little plus three in shooting, you're not going to notice a difference compared to a bigger wingspan, okay? First of all. Second of all, you'll be better, you'll be able to play better defense, You'll be able to play better um, paint defense. You'll be able to get steals easier. They're, they're saying in 19, but they say this every fucking year. So take it with a grain of salt, fuck me. They're saying it every year. Well, they're, they're saying if, if someone throws the ball and you tap square and shit, you'll grab it type shit, you know? If you, you have a long wingspan, that's going to help you, okay? Your defense... You don't want no little arm bitch. I played on mad niggas accounts. Them little arm niggas, that shit be holding me back. I don't be getting my chase downs, all types of shit. So every single build, every archetype, max wingspan, okay? I am, I am very positive that this will still be the wave in 19. Here's another thing that nobody knows, okay? It's very rare for niggas to know. Shoulder width. Okay, here's how you apply it to your builds. Th this is great knowledge, okay? A lot of y'all don't know. This is for the noob niggas, not the geek niggas. Geek niggas, you might know a little bit of this shit, but you probably don't. Shoulder width. And th 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 this, like, you know, this is key elements. If you want to 
Okay, so if you're not a ball handling build, like if you can't speed boost, max your shit. This has been in every 2K, no matter what build it is, because that increases your wingspan. Therefore, helping all those other things I just spoke to you about. Max your shit. If you're a ball handling build, for some reason, in, in 2K14, 2K15, 2K16, 2K17, if you make the shoulders the smallest, you dribble faster. I don't know why, but when you got the maxed uh, shoulder width, it's like your moves are slower, bro. And also, if you're if you don't max your wingspan, it'll look like you're dribbling faster, but you're really not. You just got small ass ass arms, and that, that that's, it's not worth it. If you go with the combo of smaller shoulder width and longest wingspan, you'll be good. Gucci. This is how I make all my builds, my nigga. If you make a short build, max that nigga shit. Okay? Trust me. It's most likely gonna apply to 19, bro. Now, when it comes to weight, bro, this is the tricky shit that I'm not sure about, bro. But every year it keeps it keeps being lowest, okay? Except for like center type shit. I'm talking about for guards. Every year it keeps being lowest, but they keep lying to us saying weight's gonna be intangible. They said that in 18, but look what happened. It was still lowest weight. You feel me? So when it comes to this weight shit, I'm not too sure, nigga. But usually it's like max your weight if you're a center, unless you're like a stretch. And then for guards, it's always been lowest type shit, you know? Those would be the most efficient sharps. You might want to go ahead and max your shit. I, I, I'm not I'm not sure about the weight, okay? I'm not sure about the weight. We'll have to see. Because they saying that it's going to be the blow-by shit and all that. But they said the same shit last year and the year before that and the year before that. So I'm not sure when it comes to that shit. Now, look. I'm going to give you a pro tip. For all the fucking shot creators, first of all, I want to let you know you're fucking trash. Okay, all you pure shot creators, you're trash, you're using a bailout build, you fucking suck, but whatever. If you're gonna make a pure shot creator, listen to me. I don't know why no one started this wave on YouTube or just in general. Stop making him so small. He already can't speed boost. If there's not a shot creator build that can speed boost, max his weight. Okay, max his, oh, not, not his weight. Max his height. You want to know why? You're going to be able to play way better defense. You're going to be able to play. You're going to have way better boards. Your your offensive efficiency is going to be even better. Because you're going to be able to bully niggas in the inside. You're going to be able to. You, 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 you're just going to take screens and just fade. You're, you're basically moving at the same speed as a smaller shot creator. It just might not look like that, but you're bigger. So you take up more space. You're going to be able to shoot over people easier. You know, there's there's no negative to being taller. It's just like with the sharps. A lot of niggas, they y'all be making small sharps. But what happens every year? The tallest sharp is better than the smaller nigga. Like overall. Seriously, overall, you're bigger, better defense, all that shit. If you got a little small nigga, you could get exploited. You, you're an anchor on defense. You feel me? But if you got a big, tall ass sharp, all you got to do is adjust to him. And you you have this nigga off rip, you're going to be good. So them shit 6'10 shot creators, I'm telling you, bro. It's way better than having a 6'2 shot creator, 6'4, whatever. Just trust me. This, this is... It's key advice. Same with the sharps, my nigga. Don't make a small sharp. Always make him the biggest. To, to where you still have the same badges as the smallest version. And you'll be good. You already can't speed boost. You might as well get the benefit as the defense, the rebounding, and shooting over niggas and all that shit. You still got the same stats, my nigga. T trying to tell you. This is how you... On some OP stupid shit, you know? It's very cheesy. I don't, I don't really like it, but that that that's how it be. Now, 
if you are interested in making a lockdown, my nigga, listen to this. So lockdowns, they have much faster la lateral quickness and all this shit. So they're going to be faster. So you can sacrifice instead of being like a, a small ass lockdown, which everyone keeps doing every year, make you a big ass lockdown. Do you feel me? Because you going that extra height, that weight, I'm not saying pure lockdown because I don't, if you can't shoot a three, you're fucking worthless. If you make a lock sharp, go ahead and make that nigga a little bigger, my nigga. Because even for instance, say I'm playing a 6'10 pure point forward. He's so big that he plays better D on me than a, a 6'5 lock sharp. I don't know why. It's just his height. Like, like for instance, when I'm like dribbling against niggas, it's like, it, it's so weird. I've, I've, I have more problem versus weak ass centers than a fucking guard. Just because the nigga's so big. I don't know. That, that's just me personally. Y'all let me know if y'all feel like that. It's just, it's like, I don't know. 2K, it's, it's weird. Like, I mean, you could obviously break him easy. But it's just like his spacing. And then, like, you can't, like, do certain shit because he, he, <laughs> he sling that shit. But, um, yeah, man, that, that's when it comes to sharps. Um, slashers, I don't know. My, my philosophy with slashers, bro. I don't know about making them small either, nigga, because if you get, if you're not speed boosting, bro, th this is my whole philosophy, my nigga. If you are not speed boosting, make him the tallest he could be, period. That That's my philosophy. I think that's a very safe method, method <laughs> going into 2K19. And yeah, man, and when it comes to centers, bro, you know, of course, I don't know any archetypes, but here's a, a safe why the fuck do I keep saying that? Here is a safe method <laughs> going into 19, my nigga, that, that works every year. Stop making inside center builds. First of all, I'm not going to fucking play with you. You can still dominate. I'm not saying you can't dominate as an inside build. I'm just saying it's that much harder. Okay? You put that much more pressure on your guards when you play people that are exactly as good as you. If you don't have the ability to shoot a three, niggas don't, you know, it, it, it messes up everything. Seriously. You'll be too clunky on the inside. Of course, you know, get your build bully shit, all that shit. But if you, if you were to play yourself and you had a center that could shoot threes and a center that couldn't, the, the version of you that could shoot the three, much more deadlier. It makes it a lot more easier. It's a lot easier to exploit niggas. It makes niggas really pay for not guarding something, you know, trying to overhelp on D and shit. Makes niggas pay. So, yeah. I don't know, man. These are just a few tips, my nigga. Um, Y'all let me know if you want more archetype build tips. <laughs> and um, leave a question down below and I'll respond to you. I read all my comments. Um, I heart damn near every fucking comment unless it's hate, my nigga. So, make sure y'all always leave comments under my videos. Make sure you always leave a fucking like or dislike. Helps my videos get promoted, fuck nigga. Even though I curse like a bitch, so that shit fuck up my videos getting recommended. So, who the fuck cares, my nigga? Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. I'm out this bitch, nigga. Um, drink a gallon of water a day. And you'll be that guy, my nigga. I'm not trying to tell you, man. I'm gone, bruh.